Okay, everyone. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you how to throw a tall, consistent, even thickness cylinder. And after we form the cylinder, we're going to cut it open. All right, so let's take a look here. Get our clay centered, get the base squared up, All right, open our form. Right, and push down with our sponge to hollow it out completely. And then stretch the bottom floor out. Okay. I'm going to go back in my bottom floor, compress a little more, stretch it all the way out, making sure I get a nice tight 90 degree angle where my floor meets my wall. All right. I'm going to compress my outside wall, making sure it's all the same thickness. And then I'm gonna to start to squeeze from the base, gradually transition the clay up. Okay, following through, making sure everything stays a nice, consistent, even thickness. So I'm gonna go into my base. All right, squeeze. Transition all this clay upward. It's getting a little thin there. The clay is super soft, so I'm pulling kind of aggressively for it. For it. All right, so I had to go back, kind of compress this, fix that a little bit, see if I could follow through with this pull now. Continue right here. Make sure your hands are wet enough. If any tension on the clay may cause it to twist. So make sure they're wet enough so it slides nice and evenly. And we're going to go back in. Base and straighten that up. And then follow through again with my pull. All right. So remember, before we form any shape, the objective is to make a cylinder, a straight cylinder. All right? Don't let the clay become a shape. Right? until your cylinder is a nice even thickness. I'm going to use a rib tool to compress my cylinder right? squeeze off all the slip. Right? This will strengthen the piece, right? allowing you to form it into you know, shapes that will support themselves. If you don't do this step, a lot of times pieces may buckle or not be able to support themselves if they're too too wet. Right, so I went over a few times, got rid of all that excess material. Alright. Um, I could trim a little bit right here. Right, we'll trim a little bit on the outside edge. I right, give it a little undercut. So you guys get the idea of creating a simple standard cylinder, right? We're gonna now cut it open, right? Use our wire tool, pull a little towards me, about halfway, and split it right in, in half, right? And take a look at the interior, right? So you see the interior, right? This bottom corner, right? It's pretty good, right? It could have went a little further, right? But that part, part could also be trimmed later, right? The consistency in the wall is what we're looking for, okay? So practice, give this a little test. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to cut a piece open that you just made, but it's a, a good learning tool to see how you progress. Okay, so give it a try. Hope you all liked the video. Please subscribe. Have a great day.